What is going on guys, it's Chase here, and today I've got the 2011 7 foot tall, it's not 7 foot, but we'll get to that later in the video, um, so we'll just call it 7 foot for now, um, 7 foot tall animated inflatable head turning cat, the standing version. Um, this was purchased off of Mercari, um, I did not purchase this, I had to have one of my friends uh, purchase it for me, um, so shout out to uh, Jemmy guy, he uh, kindly bought it for me. Um, the reason he had to buy it for me was because I um, am banned from Mercari. Yes, Chase the Inflatable God uh, got banned from Mercari. T twice. Anyways, this was purchased off of Mercari. Um, it was fairly cheap. I think the total came out to like 70 bucks. I, I gave him like $10 extra for uh, buying it for me. Um, so I guess it was more like 80. So still pretty cheap price for this thing because this thing is um, really really rare i mean this is it's this is one of those uh, grails there's a lot of two there's a lot of grails that were uh, made in 2000 just well just like that had this kind of box um because these ones were more like garden center and holiday inflatable store items um this one was sold in at Canada at Walmart and then Paul Day Inflatable Store in the United States. So this is the um, Paul Day Inflatable Store one, um, which is awesome. So go ahead and get it open. I won't keep rambling for you guys. Um, so this was brand new in the box. I already cut the tape, you know, I tested it and I want to apologize for the lack of reviews. I am sorry. I Between um, weather and school and work, I just, the garbage that was being listed on eBay. There was not really anything for me to buy or review or anything like that. Um, so I just twisted up and I woke up early in the morning. It's like, it's, it, it is like almost 8 a.m. right now. So I'm doing this review for you guys um, because I, I do care. I want, I've been wanting to do this review. Um, so it comes with, you know, regular inflatable, you know, Instructions and stakes. Put that back in the box. And um, I checked around. This thing has zero thin spots, which is great. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get this thing set up. It, as you can see, it has one of those like uh, tall fans, uh, non-foldable base. That's really. I mean, that's really how you can tell this is one of those. Um, uh, 2011 ones because they they don't a lot of the a lot of those ones don't have like the foldable base they have just like that that top fan Ma a majority of the inflatables they made um had that top fan around that year for whatever reason um but you can see um here's the animation motor real quick as you can see it is ginormous like i put my hand right there like it it's it's the uh, size of the organ dancer um Head turning mech for I don't know why, um, but you guys will be able to see it better when it's blown up. So this is this does not have a regular head turning mech. It's fairly fairly big. I'll go ahead and get plugged in, and you can see this is the American one because it actually has fuses on it. For any of my Canadian friends, um, please tell me in the comments why your plugs do not have. Um, fuses I'd really like to know okay so let's go ahead and get this down oh looks like there's a little tear right there thankfully this hat is not supposed to inflate oh yeah goes through there too that's crazy oh well that's not too noticeable All right, so here it is. As you can see, there's not much to it, but this is an extremely rare design, so I thought I'd review it for you guys. Um, as you can see, it is most certainly not seven feet tall. This is more like six, six and a half feet tall. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, uh, a foot difference is is not too good. Um, I'm not necessarily disappointed about that. I because when I when I wanted this, I, I didn't even check how tall it was. I, you know, I just saw. Wait, this is like the first time I'm I'm seeing this thing, so I've got to have it because I, I I strive to get 
um, a lot of the ones that nobody's ever seen before. Um, but with that being said, I also like it to be a good design rather than just something that nobody's seen before. But I like to, I like to have a sought after collection that um, has inflatables that are not really known. Um, looking at it in the day now, I can go ahead and tell you guys that they did the feet wrong. The, I think the coated fabric is actually on the outside. Yeah, look, look at the difference. Um, as far as um, where the tether points are, it has uh, a two, and you can see you, you can't really pull down on it. I mean, this thing wants to explode. Now, I thought that the tail was kind of supposed to go up, but no, it just kind of hangs out this side right here. I mean, if you pick it up and it goes back down, because it, 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 that's how it's supposed to be. Um, so you can see how big the head turning mech is. It goes, it wraps all the way around this. Um, I'm guessing the reason they did that is so the head it has more friction against um, this fabric, so it's not, you know, wanting to move around a lot. Um, because if you guys, um, I know you guys have seen this. I I, I used to have one. I um, never did a review on it or anything, but it's the pumpkin kid, um, the Halloween one. I think it was like 2008 ish, 2007. I don't remember. Um, but it had it, it's it's the it's the guy you know he's sitting down and his head you know rotates it's the pumpkin head and it rotates from like I think they're both scary I don't I don't think any of them are happy but they just rotate to scary faces and he's got like overalls um, he has a regular head turning mech like this smaller one so I was kind of wondering why they gave this one such a big one but then I then I remembered it, you know with the pumpkin kid you push his head and it like rocks back and forth until it gets like right back up straight so. Um, having a, a bigger one, um, I think was the better way to go because that would kind of be annoying if it was the same way like this because then it would have been not bad in the wind. It just would, it, it would look odd. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the purple that they used. Um, it looks like faded black fabric. <laughs> that's what the, that's what this looks like. Um, but I mean, no, it's not faded or anything. This is brand new see the blacks perfectly fine now if you look on the box these are um, yellow but if you look on here that is white so I don't know what I like better um, but overall I mean it's a pretty cool item um, I got some feedback from um, some of my inflatable buddies um, saying well the pumpkin absolutely makes no sense in the middle of the chest and um, they are, they're not very smart. I had to I've kind of tell them that it's supposed to be a collar, but then again, you know, there's nothing really hanging from it, so you can't really tell, but it's supposed to be a collar, guys. I mean, um, unlike a lot of cat inflatables, he has not white, but gray feet, or not gray, not, sorry, not gray feet, um, gray claws. I absolutely love this gray fabric. I, I love the shading of that gray fabric, um, that's, yeah, that's kind of the same, but it's more of that darker one right there. That's the same one that was using the gargoyle pop-up. A lot of good inflatables came from that gray fabric, so I, I love those um, dark classic colors rather than the uh, newer, just, I don't know, the, the the newer bright colors. It's not too good to me. Uh, I'll show the back of it real quick, and then I think that'll be it. Because as I said, there's not really much to say about this thing. It's just, I, as I said, I did, a, I did a review on this because of just how incre incredibly rare it is. Look, my, my whole collection is collecting stuff that, like, people have never seen before and stuff. And, and, and I, I literally only buy classics, and I still have never seen this before. I've never seen this before. Um, but then we went online after seeing it because nobody I've talked to has, has, has ever seen, seen it before. Like, it, it's not just me. I'm not, I'm not the, I'm not the, uh. Uh, the, the, what are, what do they say? Like the, 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 I'm not the non-sharp tool in the shed, whatever, whatever they, whatever they say, I don't know. But once we actually saw this, we looked it up online, like, head turning cat, and we were scrolling for hours, because, I mean, you, um, they have the, this, the, the one that lays in the ground that moves his head, and that's, that's super common, so that there's a bunch of those, but then, but then you look at this one, it's standing, and so we kind of looked like, stand, we looked up standing head turning cat, and, there it was. Um, it was on Pinterest, which led to a link to the Holiday Inflatable Store, and that's how we found out it was at the Holiday Inflatable Store. Um, and then I posted it on Facebook in an inflatable group, and then a bunch of my Canadian friends um, 
I call them friends. I don't know who they are, but you know, we're all friends in the community. Um, they're, they, they said that they remember seeing this one at, at Walmart. Um, I'm assuming around the same year. I don't, I don't think they said it was a different box, uh, like a Walmart box, but, but I don't, I don't know why they said that because, uh, Walmart ones had the same exact box. So maybe it was a different year. I don't know. But, um, before this video gets too long, um, I really hope you guys enjoyed. That's pretty much it. This is the extremely rare, we'll just go ahead and call it a grail, but the, the, the really, the, the cat that nobody's ever heard of before, seven foot tall, animated head turning, uh, way too big of a head turning mech, uh, 2011 cat. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Um, there will not be another review for a little while because the one I'm trying to review, oh my god, it's it literally has to be like one mile per hour winds or the or we will not be able to do it actually it's like three mile per hour winds right now so i i i can try but i i wouldn't count on it so yeah really hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you guys again next time